Hello everyone and welcome back to another Emasi chess game from the chess history from 1988 in the Thessaloniki chess olympiad and in this chess game we have Judith Polgar with the white pieces and her opponent is Chili Gorova who was the chess champion of Bulgaria a woman I am so let's see what happened in this chess game at this time Judith Polgar was only 12 years old and yet she won a she won a gold medal in the Thessaloniki Chess Olympiad and she was already one of the top chess players in that era interesting isn't it even when she was 12 years old and an incredible chess prodigy so let's see what happened in this chess game so Judith Polgar starts the game with e4 c5 we have the Sicilian defense knight to f3 knight to c6 and bishop to b5 we have the sicilian rosolimo variation g6 polgar castled bishop to g7 c3 e5 d4 by judith polgar e takes on d4 it looks like polgar is sacrificing a pawn but now judith polgar pushed the pawn blocking the bishop and targeting the d pawn knight to e7 of course in this position if bishop takes on e5 then we have rook to e1 pinning the bishop to the king and this is losing a piece so pushing the pawn developing the knight and maybe blocking the king and planning to capture the pawn but polgar played bishop to g5 and black castled well in this position if bishop takes on e5 then bishop takes knight and if king takes bishop of course rook to e1 is coming and still losing a piece and if queen to e7 this is also losing a piece because of pushing the pawn and if defending the bishop bank losing the queen and the chess game so in this position we have castling and simply capturing the pawn the knight is pinned uh, the bishop is boxed in so it looks like this is a crumpy position for black we have knight to c6 queen to h4 by polgar attacking the queen and defending the queen defending the queen and x-raying the pawn on b2 developing the knight and defending the bishop but now we have bishop takes on e5 attacking the defender of the bishop maybe bishop takes knight comes to mind Well, Judith Polgar is setting up a little trap. She played rook from a to e1. And black fell for it. Bishop takes on c3 because in this position if capturing the knight it is not working because of bishop takes rook in between move. So it looks like Judith Polgar made a blunder. Well, what else? Capturing the bishop and then bank. Queen takes on b5. And black is a piece up. What was the idea of Judith Polgar? Why did, why did she sacrifice a piece? Well, in this position Polgar played queen to h6 and it looks like there are some problems in the dark squares. So in this position the question is this. Bishop to f6 and how to defend the checkmate threat. Well, after bishop to f6, the answer is there is no defense and black is getting checkmated. So we have queen to f5. But in this position, if f5, if defending like this, then bishop to f6, threatening checkmate. And if rook takes bishop, then rook to e8, and now problems in the back, in the back rank. Check, mate. There is no defense and black is getting checkmated. So we have queen to h6 and Polgar is threatening to play bishop to f6. Houston, we got a problem. Defending with the queen. So defending on f6 with the queen. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Judith Polgar played the move. And her opponent resigned. So this was the whole idea of Judith Polgar. Can you see the little trap? 
of the 12 years old Polgar. What would you do in this position? Let me give you 3 seconds. If you need, you can also pause the video and try to guess the move if you haven't seen it. Well, in this position, Judith Polgar sacrificed the queen. Queen takes on f8. Bang. What a shot by Polgar. And black resigned. Sacrificing the queen and basically force checkmating her opponent. If king takes on f8, then checking the king, only move, and then bang. Rook d8, checkmate. So Chiligorova didn't realize what's happening in this position. So in this position, Polgar played rook from a to e1. And she fell for the trap. Bishop takes on c3, capturing, losing a piece, but not threatening. Bishop to f6, and then bank. And this is all over for black. Because basically black is getting checkmated just like this. And thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time with more instructive chess games. So take care, and bye bye.